Hey, good morning everybody. It's Captain Drew Cavanaugh with Florida Inshore Fishing Charters, Mosquito Lagoon Site Fishing Charters, and Florida Nearshore Fishing Charters located here in East Central Florida, Daytona Beach, New Summer Beach, Cocoa Beach. And today what we're going to do, we're going to do something a little bit different. Um, we're always talking about fishing, fishing reports, Yamaha tutorials, rod reel stuff, lure stuff, <clears throat> um, that kind of stuff. Today we're going to go over something that we all do, whether you're fishing, skiing, just boating and tips on uh, safety gear. Everybody neglects that and uh, sometimes you skimp on it and that's something you don't wanna skimp on. Um, it can be very important. It's probably the most important thing on a boat, um, especially if you venture too far out or far out, I should say. So this video is gonna go over a lot of that for a lot of new people that are new to boating and stuff. Um, there's a lot of you that are probably, you know, experienced boaters. You just may want to skip this video or you may want to watch it. Maybe you'll learn something or maybe you'll have a comment to say. But let's say today I'm off uh, Ponds Inlet, good distance. I'm out of cell phone range. So when you go offshore and there's no cell phone range, um, you have a couple choices. One, 100% bring a radio. Two, if you can afford it, you can get a SATCOM, a satellite radio. So some of the things I bring that's non-negotiable is of course, you know, your life vests, all that kind of stuff. Um, I carry class ones, but I also have some class two, class threes, and the inflatable ones that are easy uh, available. Uh, being a merchant mariner, the Coast Guard makes us carry class ones for our passengers, but most of the time they like to wear the class two or class threes. Uh, so always have that. Then what we also have is what's called a ditch bag. So let's just look in this ditch bag here. Let me get this thing out here. So this is a ditch bag. This is anytime we're out here and I tell my clients if there's an emergency or something and we have to abandon the boat, get in the water or something, this bag one of us grabs. This is our savior right here. Now here's the radio I carry. Now also you see my firearm. So I highly suggest if you go offshore or boating anywhere, you gotta remember we're in Florida. I would carry a firearm. You just never know. Think of it as a fire extinguisher. I'm glad it's there. I hope to God I never need it. But if I do need it, it's there. Normally I'm carrying a stainless steel 38 special, but today I grabbed my Smith & Wesson 40 caliber shield just because it was convenient. So I would highly suggest you carry it. You just, listen, you're out here all by yourself. All of a sudden somebody pulls up, you know, they carjack people on the cars there are boat jackers that could pull up here and boat jack you so just some food for thought there okay so let me put this away all right so let's look in the ditch bag and see what's in here you got your radio usually the radio is clipped right there you know we'll set that aside so if we open up the to-go bag the ditch bag first thing you notice is write your name on it that way God forbid they're looking for you and they find debris, they'll know what's going on. So you got that. You can buy these at West Marine Bass Pro Shops, just a wet bag. So the first thing I got in there is my little Pelican case. And inside of it is the flare gun and the flares. <laughs> and a mirror and a safety rope, a whistle, a horn, a knife, all that kind of stuff. Let me tell you something. People are like, ah, I'm not spending 50 bucks on that. This will save your life. So let's see what else we got in here. So I believe these are called the EPERBs or PLBs. So there's a company called ACR. They make these. And they range anywhere between $100, bucks, three, $400, depending on what you need. And they're personal locating beacons. So what would happen, let's say we had an emergency and we're out of cell phone range, life and death situation broke down. We just, we need help. What I would do is I'd break out one of these and one's, one's just a little bit older. This one's, I think, is brand new. I just bought it. Um, you would open up the antenna, point it towards the sky. As long as you've got a clear view to the sky, you push that button, and it's going to send a GPS signal to a satellite. When you buy it, what you do is you go online, you register it with the company ACR. Um, they get all your contact details. They get you an emergency contact number. And let's say, we, let's say that it's deployed. Well, the first thing they'll do is they'll call the emergency contact number and if you don't answer the call the next number make sure you know it wasn't deployed accidentally and then from there they'll contact the closest vessel coast guard air force you know ship whatever is registered within your signal range and send you help 
it, it, it is worth its weight in gold. A couple hundred bucks. I'm actually kind of surprised the United States Coast Guard and local law enforcement does not make this a requirement if you venture more than three miles offshore. It's always boggled my mind. They make us carry life vest, a fire extinguisher, but not one of these. The people that come out here and get lost at sea and don't have this, are, it's just strange. And they, this one has to be manually deployed, so I have to actually physically push the button. They do make ones that can go to the side of the boat or in the boat, so if the boat sinks and if it's submerged, if water touches it, it will automatically deploy, which is nice. Um, that's always a good one to have in case you're knocked unconscious or something. So that's a good thing to have. But um, I highly suggest you get one of these. So there's the EPIRB, or PLB. I think an EPIRB is the one that um, is automatically deployed. So then also in here, we have another Pelican case, <clears throat> a couple glow sticks, a horn, an air horn, a little GPS Garmin. Um, what else we got in here? We got another Pelican case. So this one's got um, a strobe light, double-A batteries, another knife, uh, another flashlight, and that kind of stuff. You gotta think, if you gotta get in the water and you're floating for a little bit, man, some of this stuff will really help you, especially like the strobe at night. And then of course, I've got two bottles of water in there, because uh, you can't drink seawater. So that's basically my to-go bag, my ditch bag, is like I would like to say, if we have to ditch, get in the water. Um, that's basically what I call this thing. I'm just gonna get all this stuff back in here. And if you notice the um, rope, so you're gonna wanna put a rope on it, you know, a nice rope. And what you do is you gotta get in the water, you tie it to yourself and you can tie it to, you know, the other ropes to each other. So that way you're not drifting apart. Um, probably everything in here costs maybe $400, you know, but like I said, it will save your life one day and uh, it is worth its weight in gold. What you do is just put that back in there and just kind of roll that back up a couple times. And yeah, they sell these bags, it's just a wet bag at Bass Pro Shops or West Marine. But there you go, there's your ditch bag to go bag. It's, if you ever go offshore, it's one of the most important things you can carry. And, and like I said about the firearm, sometimes some people put a firearm in there, have one on the boat, um, that's your call. Uh, other than that, um, if you all have any questions or anything, now that's on top of all the other stuff, the fire extinguisher, the flashlights, <clears throat> but this is the emergency, hey, we're sinking mayday, mayday, mayday bag that you wanna grab. If I were to deploy that, you know, Coast Guard Station Ponce is right there. I would say within an hour, half an hour, there'd probably be a helicopter over us, um, maybe a boat or something. You know, they'd be pre here pretty quick, I would imagine. I hope I never have to use it. <laughs> Um, if you have, if any of y'all have any questions or anything, give me a call, 352-223-7897, or you can go to my website and find my email. Have a great day. Thank you.